welcome back everybody welcome back to the mofa project and today we're gonna be working on again the wood over there and we are trying to get to point b so we're gonna go to x6 double s i don't know something like that so yeah um we're gonna be working on that and uh, hopefully everything is gonna be going fine uh so no further ado let's get started shall we Alright, first things first, we need to make sure that we have the right tool equipped, which is this, yes, true, we need to get to 365, uh, alright, and then we need to get to, uh, not that one, we need to get to this one, right, yes. So we need to get to that one, and then we can start up and running things. Of course, I need to make sure that I have the like this because you know we don't want to we don't want to be drawing into a way, and I want to draw like this so that you know the strokes are natural in the hand and not unnatural, which is uh, sometimes a problem that can occur. So today, um, yeah. And I'm using the wrong color. Alright. Alright, now I can go. So yeah, um... I have done a lot to make sure that, you know, today I will be able to draw. Again, actually, I I uh, made sure that I was thinking about not drawing today, but I was like, mm, well, I did I did say that I wanted to finish this part up, and actually, I wanted to not draw because of uh, well, my hand was not feeling that well, but that was because I was actually doing a lot of um, what did I do today? I played a lot of video games, didn't I? Yeah, my bad, my so bad. I we I was way too energetic on point like mm, I want to do this because I had like a whole damn schedule I had to work with. I you know playing playing video games uh, <laughs> is sometimes a little bit addictic. Addicting? Nah, no, not addictic. Blech. Words. I'm not good with those things. So yeah, um, I actually made sure that uh, a lot of things are actually going well. So yeah, um, the main issue that I'm always having with you know drawing is like, well, have the motivation to do it, have the right amount of energy to do it, and then have the right innovation to do it. Because uh, sometimes when you try to draw something, it, it doesn't come out correctly. Like you want to draw a puppy, well, you can draw a puppy like this. And have this big giant nose for the puppy and then you know have these ears and then these eyes and then you have a puppy that looks like looks like a dog and then bleh. see puppy there you go that's a puppy <laughs> but yeah that is uh that's not the best case scenario of making a puppy at most cases so uh yeah um i have done a lot to make sure that um I get from point A to point B and sometimes I was still lacking the motivation just because you know uh, doing a lot or having information going on and you know you need to you need to figure out like ah well I did this I did that I did this I did that and then you know you are not mentally prepared to do the drawing correctly which can lead to a lot of problems so yeah um Luckily, you know, I was like, you know what, fuck it, I will try to do my drawing today. Because, after all, it is just a Marfoc, so it, it, it should not be that difficult to do it. It's just sometimes a little bit hard to get from, uh, get the right amount of stuff going on. Because of all the, um, because of this, alright? The, uh, the amount of, uh, the amount of, you know, rooting the roots is always the problem because it it requires like you know variety in the in the pattern 
and that it can only be created by you know doing certain amount of things or certain amount of ways of doing something and that sometimes does require a lot of creativity and you know when your mind is already on the other side of the moon then well <laughs> creativity is sometimes a little bit a thing that can be like well um where do I start here and then you know you you don't find an a, a solid answer and then you're like mm, yes great no solid answer that's lovely and then you know you're you're stuck between a la you're stuck between la uh sea and land and that is the thing that can happen well that happens to me sometimes even because you know the morning drawing is like i can do the morning drawing but i cannot do it always because of the amount of uh things i need to do the amount of thinking i need to do and if my day is like you know starting off great then yes i can do it but if my day starts off like I already have too much on my mind and I need to do this, 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 and then I need to finish this, 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 and this. You know, I don't want to overrush myself, I don't want to overstress myself, because, you know, stress is bad for you and for your thinking, for the creativity. And therefore, you know, I need to make sure that I avoid, I need to avoid those stress situations. So that's what I most likely do. So yeah, um... A lot of the a lot of the a lot of the drawing that I do is like you know I need to make sure that I am not stressed or stressed out in many cases and uh well you know sometimes I'm like, ah oh, man, I wish I could be able to draw today and then you know I'm like, no, I can't because I'm mentally mentally sleeping so it it is a thing that can occur you know when you're doing a lot of busy work. Or you're working on something very important, like you know, uh, getting information cor uh, correctly, or having an information that you need to realize or need to write down. And that's what I did. I actually made sure that the uh, amount of stuff I realize, uh, the amount of stuff I did, was uh, not a problem. So, yeah. Um. Anyhow, um, that's what I did today, and. Uh, I did a lot of thinking, so that's good. It is normally good to have a lot of thinking, but you know it is still a very hard thing to do, and I was literally tired from that also um I also got some news, and I need to add uh, edit the or remain the uh, the uh, the drawing that I did before. So after this I will do that, uh, because technically it's not a lot of asking, it is just, you know, adding a picture into a, into a drawing. So, you know, you have this, you have John with his eye, and then you have, you know, the picture uh, over it. And then, you know, John's eye is transparent. So, you know, you see, you see the, you see the face of the bloodfish. You can see the bloodfish face, well, in the background of, you know, f uh, a little bit not visible. That that is the idea. That's the idea that I need to do. I need to add a transparent uh, uh, profile picture or well, a transparent picture of the employer into the drawing. But because I need to do that, that is going to be taking a lot of time. And that time is like a thing like, oh my god, I was so close on finishing this properly, and then and then they are saying like, hmm, well, it needs to be doing this, and I'm like, all right. I'll do it, but still, I get the I get their points. I get what they I get the I get the values upon what they, what they are what they are thinking and how they were thinking it, and I'm thinking like yeah sure I I will get it done I will get it personalized. So uh, yeah I um I'm gonna be doing it I'm gonna be working on it again and then you know hopefully in two or three hours it's it's gonna be finished again and I can send it back into you know the employer's its own self. Oh hey blue. As I see you as well. <sighs> so yeah. Um. Sorry, I uh, I did not went on a rant. I was more on uh, explanation. <laughs> explanation of explanations. Yes, always need to have explanation about explanations so that everybody knows what I'm talking about. Otherwise, people are thinking like I'm talking like gibberish. So yeah. Um. That's what a thing I did. Uh. I'll also, good news. I found myself a group that was able to do. Oh well, I was not. I did not find the group. The group was already there for a long time. But um, I'm gonna be going back into being the DM for one of the uh, one of the uh one of the party uh, uh 
I'm gonna be the DM again. Uh, because, you know, we can finally visit each other again, personal, which is a very, very good thing. So, I'm gonna be starting up again. Uh, I already have a great, great, great scenario. It's about, you know, the cleric has a problem, you know, because there is re there are there are, there were some dead ri uh, dead rising up in their crypt, and uh, well, you know, the cleric is like, yeah, I I sealed the door, but I cannot I cannot provide any service now, which is a very bad thing to have. So the cleric is a little bit uh, a little bit screwed up, but uh, you know, the party is going to be trying to either help him or totally ignore the fact that there are undead, you know, being restless. So that's one thing, and then the other part is like in the forest there are some bandits who have been uh, persuaded by a hack to um, get uh, get some uh, get the merchandise uh, caravans uh, to be ambushed, and you know most likely the people that are on the uh, uh, caravans being killed. So yeah, uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be casual, you know, casual people going in getting. Get, uh, they are getting in trouble and uh, well, getting ambushed by by bandits. And then, of course, if the players are am getting ambushed by those bandits, well, they will find out that there is a hack going on, doing shady things with shady sheaves. So, uh, of course, you know that is a thing that needs to be done. And uh, I need to calculate like what what do I need to do and how I will do the encounters. And uh, I found out that those encounters are quite easy to do. And I thought, like, well, that's a good start to start up, uh, start up a campaign, or well, not a one shot, a scenario. That's that's more like it's a scenario. Who knows how far we can get it? I think we can get it pretty far because you know the uh, group itself is experienced with roleplay, and there are not much problem players or whatever there is. So there is not a there is not a lot of problem players going on. So that's good, and uh, I think that will. Uh, keep the dynamic uh, dynamic going, and since it's only four players, the amount of uh, spotlight sharing is doable for me at least, because I'm very very bad at uh, multitasking most of the things. <laughs> so yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you, Blue. Thank you. Yeah. It is indeed nice to have D and D up and running again. Ugh. Took me long enough. Took me long enough. Jeez, Louise. And then you know. You need to realize that I'm not a very good DM. I am like, I might not be the best. I'm not. I am definitely not the best DM at all cases. I am the worst. Uh, no, not I'm not the worst. I'm not the worst. I am. I am. Yes, I like the combat system of D and D, but I try to make sure that I, I suck still at role playing when when it comes to NPCs. So they're either gonna be very bland or you know straight to the point. So. That's the thing that I need to learn, but you know that's why I'm that's why I suggest to be the DM because you know nobody else wanted to play the DM and uh, I was like, oh, all right, I'll be the DM then because I still need to learn how to do that. So improve my roleplay and all that stuff. So that's a good thing to do, and uh, I hope um, it's gonna be uh, great. So uh, uh, that's gonna be done uh, this Saturday. So. Then Big Boy Steve games will be will be on a hold because probably I need to do either I'm gonna be uh, moving it up to eight I believe or doing it earlier probably earlier like eight o'clock or something because you know I am I really want to make sure that you know I do want to have my Temtem games online I do want my Temtem games still to be there because you know Big Boy Steve and the legendary dude of Dudeness, Big uh, Brick Brick uh, Brick Brewstone. <clears throat> yeah, those epic adventures need to be still holding. Oh well, at least that is a thing that I need to do. So yeah, um uh that is a thing that I want to do and how I'm going to get do it. Uh I already have planned like I'm going to make well, the only thing I need to do is actually making sure that the uh the place between it, so the uh, I need to put it onto notes. So I have like, all right, what is going to be happening? What is going to be happening in the town, and what what are the problems, and how are the and how are the party is going to be how the party is going to be solving those problems? You have a catacomb, 
which is connected to a little uh, to a chapel which has a priest that sealed off the catacombs for the undead but has trouble maintaining the spell therefore he cannot do his daily work as you know being the only person who can bury the dead properly so now that is a thing that needs to be done that needs to be dealt with otherwise you know you're probably gonna have an undead uprising in the town which you don't want obvious you have a mayor who is greedy so the import uh, because of the bandits who are robbing some of the uh, caravans there are, um, the import tax has been uh, higher than normal therefore you know peasants are going to be complaining and you will overhear it in the tavern like hey you know I heard that the mayor is again rise, uh, raising the taxes on food and water. That is gonna, and then you know you're gonna have that old conversation upon upon that, and people are really pissed upon that. Like, oh my god, are you really seriously? You're gonna raise again the taxes, you son of a bitch! But because they are peasants, they cannot do anything about it. So yeah, the uh, the group itself is gonna be solving the thing, and uh, the main mechanic of the uh, tome is quite funny. So you have these lovely little things like, um, so you have these lovely little things that are called skeletons, all right? So in D and D you have skeletons, which wow, what a surprise! There are skeletons in D and D. Oh no, that is spooky. Yeah, um, well those skeletons uh, can be not very a problem because you know skeletons are what uh, one quarter of a half of a rating or something like that, stupidly low. But if you have like a party of level 6, uh, what you could do, because you, you're you saying like, Oh no, the dead are rising from their grave, and they are, you know, restless, alright? So what you could do is technically say like, well, I will roll a d6, which I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to be using a mechanic that is, uh, roll a d6. If the d6 is done, the skeleton, uh, once the skeleton is slain, you roll a d6, and then if, the, if it lands on the 6, the skeleton will be... Uh, not full HP, but um, will be back up again. So you have like very spooky skeletons who reanimate, and it's like, ah, no, not the skeletons again. So uh, yeah, they're they're gonna be they're gonna be very spooky, and they're gonna be very scary as well because you know it's still skeletons. They don't di dish out a lot of damage, but if you're really sick and tired of seeing only skeletons every single time, you're probably gonna be really pissed upon like oh, are you shitting me he's gonna be revived again god damn it those skeletons die and then you know you pick up a hammer you crush their skulls and i'm like all right you killed them a second time well good job now now it's dead dead that's the idea like you know i'm gonna give them only two lives so the skeletons are not gonna be that scary they're just gonna be a little bit scary it's lovely that i'm actually using air quotes here and hand gestures just to get just to explain something, and well, you know, um, mm, you cannot see those air quotes or hand gestures at all, so it is very, uh, mm, well, uh, if somebody would ever ever see me talking into a microphone and they were saying like, what the hell, why, why is he doing hand gestures while he's speaking to people that cannot see him? Hmm, hmm. <laughs> So yeah, um, well, that, that's autism for you. <laughs> that's autism for you. You always are. You always will do whatever you need to do to prove your point. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, the uh, skeletons are gonna have a secondary life, and so are the zombies, and so are the ghouls. But of course, they return with one HP on a six. So I'm thinking about like if you roll a three. Uh, if you roll it, uh, if you roll a one, so if you have a six, it's gonna be uh, the six is gonna be one HP return, and the one is gonna be half HP return. So the skeletons are gonna be returning back on half HP instead of one HP. So they are back uh, fully. Of course, you know, because skeletons are so weak, it doesn't matter. But uh, with the bigger boys like ghouls and um, some of the rates or something like that. Yeah, those would be very difficult to defeat if you have like things like that. So yeah. Um so that's what I'm gonna be doing. Just one sec. Yep. Close 
All right, back again. So yeah, the uh, skeletons are gonna be lovely. They are gonna be so much more of an enjoyment to me than uh, anything else because you know they're gonna be reviving. Uh, of course, you know this is gonna be taking a lot of. Uh, well, you know the catacombs are not gonna be very difficult for most of the people because you know they're level six or something like that. So they're probably gonna be wrecking this whole damn encounter because you know zombies and skeletons and all that stuff. It's like, mm, well, you have just a cleric and you can beat everything. Yes, technically yes, a cleric would prevent the skeletons from raising. So I would not give the skeletons the resurrection if they are getting hit by holy beams of doom. So uh, yeah, um, and then the main, the main, the main thing is like you know um, when you have the uh, amount of if you have like you know they're you know rating the thing I still need to make sure that they are level 6 so uh, I have read so I have read that at a party of 4 with a decent DPS a DPS person and uh, a cleric requires uh, the rate the maximum rating of two ghouls so everything that is around two ghouls on difficulty that is what I can give the party as a very very scary progression so that that's like oh my god it's a two ghouls run away you know that that kind of uh, that kind of encounter you also want to have so I'm gonna put in a boss boy and the boss boy is gonna be having not legendary resistances but just resistances to um, being afraid and all that stuff so I'm gonna put in a maybe an undead minotaur or something like that, something funny. Because you know, minotaurs are big, spooky, and if they can resurrect, well, you know, you get the point. You have a you have a big giant cow man with a big giant battle axe that is an undead skeleton that re gets resurrected at half HP or one HP, and then it's like, mm, well, that's a skeleton that I don't want to deal with. And then he also has doggos or something like that. Maybe, yeah. He's gonna also have some undead doggos with him. Yeah, undead doggos. And then you play that beautiful, you know, and then you play that beautiful, uh, how do you say, soundtrack of uh, Dark Souls. <laughs> Dark Souls. <laughs> and then you make sure that, the, then you make sure also that the Minotaur has two dual great axes as weapons. <laughs> and then you have the Capra Demon. There you go. <laughs> See, problem solved, Capra Demon. No, thank you. <laughs> also, the era they are, they are fighting is is very, 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 very close quarters. Just to make sure that the doggos can hit them, <laughs> and they don't have to run towards them. <sighs> Never gets old. Ah, uh, that reminds me of Dark Souls One. Ugh. Well, technically, I put the reference on Dark Souls 1, so yes, of course it would remember. Oh, god damn it. It's just so... F it... Yeah, that game. That game made me cry when the first time I went to fight that thing. Ugh. I hated that. I hated his guts. Because every single time you walked into that beautiful smoke cloud. Instant attack! <laughs> so it's either run away or getting murdered. Or dodge his attacks and then get uh, get up there, uh, get upstairs and cheese him, because holy hell, that guy was no joke. That guy was difficult. Not art that guy was artificially difficult because of the area that he was spawned in. Later, later in the game, he actually turns into a normal, regular dude, a no normal, regular army dude, and that was actually quite amazing. That you know, the Capra Demon was actually such an asshole. He's even worse than the first boss you actually encounter. Well, the second boss, not the not in the in the early game levels, the demon on top of something, blah 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 blah. blah. The one that guards the big giant uh, the big giant uh, bridge. Uh, that one is also difficult, but yeah, it is good to have. Uh, it's good to have such a um, such great you know variety of enemies that you want to fight like ghouls, skeletons, zombies, raids, ghosts. You know. Ooh. Also, you want to have of course helpful ghouls as well to 
guide the players towards the right ending or like her oh, these this is the dark realm of resurrect the Ragonus, or something like that I don't know I think I will go for resurrect the Ragonus. The, 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 re the regular yeah regu the resurrect the regular yeah there you go easy name for an easy boss you know and then you turn out that oh well no 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 I, if I want to have a monitor I would call him Muik Muik the terrible yeah Muik that sounds like a cow who is drunk. Yes, that's uh, that's how you spell. That's how you shout a cow who is drunk. Mooik, moo, and then hick, because you know he has the hiccups. Eh, maybe that would take the. Uh, maybe that would be a little bit too silly, but you know, I would call him Mooik. Of course, the players will know him as um Barot the. Unbroken, uh, or something like that, I don't know. But of course, in my books, it will always be Muik. Muik. Muik, the terrible. And then, you know, you have also Skellies and uh, Bone Man, because, you know, they are skeletons with swords. Bone Man, they got boned. And uh, what was always. Then also, Necromancers will not be called Necromancers, no, they will be called Necro Dancers, because they, is, they, summon, de they summon the enemies by dancing. All that lovely stuff, you know. That 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 is the goofy nature of me in my mind. It's like, ah, well, you have this serious talk, and then you have like, ooh, what about butterflies or something else? Like, I don't know, bat salt, <laughs> bat salt, <laughs> uh, baiting salt. Ah, uh, that's good. You know, you could also just use regular salt for it and sell it as baiting salt. <laughs> Sold. And then everybody will be upset, like, what did you sell me? It isn't well, not working. Well, you have now a salted bat, so technically it would work. So, according to the rules, it is actually allowed to sell, but then, you know, people are going to be complaining about it, and, you know. But, yeah. Uh, never get sold, that reference. I always laugh about it. Probably other people are going to be probably not laughing about it, because, you know, it's so dry as well. Uh, it's, as, it's as dry as a as a desert, but, uh, that joke, ah, oh, man, I made that joke so many times, trust me. So, yeah, um, also, congratulations me upon achieving another subscriber, ooh, yes, I'm very happy, I am so fucking happy that people are liking my videos, and of course, liking what I'm, li liking what I'm producing. Which means that I'm actually doing well. You know, baby steps are always the best steps, you know. You can see your own progress and achieve more the more you look at it. Ah, <sighs> Now let's change the... Oop, there you go. We're almost there, people. Oh yeah. And we're only... 30 min... 20... 30 minutes in, almost. Ah, we're almost 30 minutes in. Ah, alright, alright, alright. Ah, sneaky time, sneaky time. I really, I really, 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 really am, I'm still baffled how time can always be like, Hey, now it's time for you to quit, because it is already an hour in, and I'm like, Wait, what, an hour? I thought we were only doing two day. it, I only thought we were 20 minutes in. But no, that is how things work. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Blue, thank you. So yeah, the uh, amount of stuff I'm doing, the amount of things I want to do, it is all, you know, I am I'll, I am a really busy person when it comes to things, and uh, well, you know, everybody can be busy. You just need to not be overstressed or overworked, because you know, overworking is a very bad thing. It can lead to very mu it can lead to very much a lot of things, which of course you want to make sure that you uh, don't get. So. Yeah, I'm trying to do my very best upon not achieving that, and uh, hopefully, you know, one day I will be, um, I will even achieve more than what I'm now already achieving. Because, you know, the more I do, the better I get at it, the more I, uh, the better I get at it, the better, the more things I will be achieving later on. And that is important for me. I really like how much I achieve, how much I grew in these two years already, I believe. 
yeah, two years. Of course, you know, the YouTube account is not two years. It's already like 15 years ago that I made this one, so... Uh, I believe 15 years, maybe? I can check. Alright, uh, let's take a look at Mr. Shady Pants right over here and see if we made a mistake. Yes, we did. Alright, cool. Now, we, what do we need to do? Well, we need to add more strokes to it. More texture to it because it looks like we are, you know, not having enough. So, yeah. Um, let's do that. So, um, the main the main issue that I have with most of the... Um, most of the things that I did and the most of the things that I achieved is that I can see the progress I made alongside it. So that also motivates me even more. You know, it's always nice to see other people, you know, subscribing or, you know, commenting or liking the video, which also motivates me. Don't get me wrong, I really love that. Because, you know, I'm not a I'm not an attention hugging person in that perspective, but I just appreciate that people took time to watch it and you know liked it therefore you know I think I do a good job upon it of course you know I'm a very critic person so therefore you know I always want to seek improvement but that's that's normal that is good that is good behavior and I I know that it might not be a lot but you know I still think that it is a lot of progress in the long run and I'm really happy upon what people achieve and how people achieve things. That's why I'm always liking that that's why I'm always liking this. Like, you know, you can help other people by, you know, just doing your own regular stuff. Like for instance, I really like to just, you know, record my work and uh, other people are seeing my work and they might find a new solution to their problems. <laughs> Boom. That is an amazing thing. That is a really amazing thing. Also, my head is turning. That is not good. That is the worst thing of a, that's the worst case scenario of me being like, "Hey, yo, you're tired. Please stop refrain stop refraining from anything to do and then just quit already." I'm like, "No, I'm busy." Yeah, my head is already turning. That means that uh, an absence has just happened. Ugh. Stupid head. Why could you not be just normal like a normal person would? Eh, anyway, makes me special, you know, I can, I can do the, I can, I can be like an owl, just, you know, shaking my hat from one side to the other and be like, hello there, how are you doing today? Well, looking the other way around. <laughs> looking like somebody who lost his, uh, lost his hat and be like, oh, what a lovely day you have, and the other person is like, ha, 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 us, and then, you know, big giant scream comes out of their mouth. Because they are like terrified of the looks upon somebody who has his head cut off. Yeah, that is uh, that is the and that's the epileptic up up songs that I have normally. My head, my head, my head's my, my head becomes too weak to support, and then you know my eyes will start rolling. Yep. Well, I'm just casually talking to people, and try to do my job. And everybody just looks at me and be like, "Oh my God, what the hell's going on?" And I even explained to them what's going on. That's the worst. I'm. I already told them beforehand that, like, hey, this is gonna be happening. Don't freak out. And then they still freak out. It's like, well, thanks. I guess you were not listening. <laughs> yeah, but so far so good. You know, I'm. I'm doing very well right now upon reaching the goals. And you know, my hat might be a little bit heavy on some cases, but. Uh, Oh well, you know, can't win them all, I would say. Can't win them all. So yeah, um, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, tonight I'm going to be doing a walk again, and then, you know, afterwards I will be trying to do my very best upon uh, completing, the, uh, completing the drawing that I did for somebody else. So the CD cover. So I will be finishing it off by putting the face in it. Of course, you know, that requires some preparation, but... Oh, wait, I forgot something. Mm. Need to make sure that my telephone is on the... Uh, on the... Uh, on the thing, otherwise I wouldn't be able to... Get, come Come... Head... Cables, really. You have one cable and then the other cable just snaps. Out of your hands. That's, like, always happening. Ugh. Alright. Cool. It is now charging.
That is great, because, you know, we're still having, we still have 10 minutes or 15 minutes left. And all those precious time I can use to charge, because, you know, I want to listen to some music, some, to some damn groovy music while, you know, walking six miles, uh, and then go back into the, go back into the thing, thing, things of things. Why am I doing it? Because my, uh, my stomach wants it, and my, uh, my intestines want it, and, uh, I need to do it, because, you know, I'm a lazy ass piece of shit if I don't do it, and, uh, lazy is a very good word for me. I am the worst case scenario of laziness. I always like to, I might be a very devoted drawer. I am a very devoted person when it comes to these things. I have been sleeping about four hours a night for a week, and, and so now, my head is dro <laughs> dropping too. <laughs> oh man, blue, come on. That's not healthy. Ah, don't worry. By the way, if you if you have enough coffee, you can make it. You can make it to buy coffee. You can make it with coffee. I believe in you, blue. I believe in you. Coffee is the coffee is the key today. Oh, I don't drink it, but I would recommend. It. A lot of people say that coffee is a solution to most problems, so I guess, I guess you know, more coffee would, would solve the problem at hand. Probably. Don't know. I would not recommend asking experts because they might look, might take a silly look at you. But, uh, you know, experts, pff, what do they know what I don't know? No, that's right, they don't know nothing. They know no nothing. Anyway. The the mo the most cases of you know making sure that all these all these drawings are you know in intact and all these you know all these drawings I'm doing right now they um they are very important for me because I like to improve yes I like to improve by drawing daily yes normally that is a very hard thing to do yes that is indeed a very hard thing to do. And oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Sometimes it can get dicey. Like today. I was like, hmm, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. I was like, I do have the energy, but I don't have the energy, so it would be dicey. And then I realized that my head was spinning, so technically, yes, it would be very dicey. I know, but there was so much to draw and write and nearly enough time in a day. I'm just having so much fun lately. Yeah, that is always the problem with my 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 problem as well. Like I am doing drawings today, and five hours are gone. Normally that is the case, especially if I'm not drawing on the tablet or on the PC, because then I can see st I cannot see the clock. Therefore, I cannot put myself in the focus. Like, hey, you're working too long. That's also a thing why I'm doing this like one hour a day, because it might not be looking much for your kind of perspective, but one hour a day, make sure that you're improving every day. It's like, you know, you're working on a drawing and you're like, mm, well, uh, I could have done this better, 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 why didn't I do this or that or this? And then when you finish it, it's like, oh, looks pretty good. And then, you know, the next time you draw, you remember every single flaw you made. And it's like, yes, I need to do this, 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 and this different. And then, you know, you start with that aspect. And then, you know, you improve upon yourself. Like, you know, uh, I have done it with the Malfa project and the morning drawing. The morning drawing is actually an improvement upon a Malfa project. Why? Layer management. Oh my god, what? Is that a thing? Yes, apparently that's a thing. Apparently layer management is a thing. It's a thing, and uh, you know, it's a thing that I have problems with because I'm a very chaotic person when it comes to these kind of things. Um, and uh, yeah, I am working towards improving upon myself, and therefore I also need to make sure that I'm doing the layer, pro uh, the layer, the layer fixing a little bit better. And so I did. Also shading and coloring and, uh, well, shading and uh, designing uh, forms and creating hands and creating faces, creating positions. Those things I also drew. Alright, 
I do I did it. Then in the morning drawing, suddenly I use those aspects of thinking and knowing to create a better drawing of the original drawing. Because I already know how to draw humans. It, yeah. I know now how to draw humans, alright? I know how to draw humans. So I use the mind tool of knowing how to do it to achieve the goal of making the humanoid creature that I want to draw, which was the uh, which was the Mad King that uh, that I wrote a story about. Well, not fully the Mad King the story about, but yeah, the Mad King uh, of the story I'm writing that I have been writing about the the main bad guy. That main bad guy I already drew. But I wanted to improve upon that drawing, so therefore, bush, I tried it again. But this time with all the knowledge I have from this year instead of 15 years ago. And now it looks way better. And that is a good sign. If I would not have been improving upon myself and I would not have been such a critic when it comes to my own artwork, then well, you know, I would have never achieved this goal. I would have never achieve the amount of stuff I am achieving right now and that is good that is good that I'm achieving it it is good that I'm seeing progress upon myself it is good that I see progress even if I'm doing other things than the normal regular drawing that I'm already doing and that is a thing that is a very good uh, learning it's a very good thing to to learn that you know even if you're doing your even if even if things go bad or even if things go not the way you want it and you improve upon yourself by seeing those mistakes and then you know making it and then using those knowledge that you gained from the last time into the new drawing it actually creates a far better drawing than the ones that you wanted to make in the first place that's why it's always important to always continue upon your drawing after you failed Normally, you know, you would say like, I don't want to draw on this anymore, this sucks. And then, you know, but what if you could try to work around with it? Or, you know, try to avoid the problem and succeed upon fixing it. Therefore, you'll learn even a more valuable thing, a, a far more valuable lesson. And that is what I always, and that is that is most of the times that I achieve upon. Because, you know, I really, really am... Re like the Marvel project, for instance, the beginning of it. Like, how the hell do I start with this? How the hell do I start with this? And I'm, I had no fucking clue. So I used the vision of, you know, a hawk and a moth and see where the automaty lies and how they work and how they work around. And then I was like, well, this body doesn't look like the shape and these wings, the shape is all wrong. And then I was like, well, you know what? I will make it better. I will make it sure that the positioning and the um, and the forming of those wings and those legs and the head are looking better, and so I did. So it turned it from a little blob to you know this kind of creature, which has a more you know realistic approach and has not a and has not a you know it has more better look upon it, which is good. That's the whole idea about it. <laughs> uh, and I'm bad about layers, unless it's a project for someone else. Commission I did for Hex was very well organized. Nice. Yeah. Well, um, if you get a look at this, um, this one has not enough. Uh, this one has actually terrible layering. So. Yeah, this one is terribly optimized and very unorganized because, you know, I'm always never give the layer version to people. I always give the PDF version to people because I like to keep my own work uh, at my own place, how I do things. And, you know, some of the valuable information is still on the uh, files, on these files, which, you know, not supposed to be shared. Uh, according to Pro Advice, yeah. According to Pro Advice, uh, I had I had a I had a oh, I met a person at a convention, and uh, he told me everything about how to be com how to be com how to uh, how to start up a company and all that stuff and uh, how to 
be com how to commercialize and or how to commercialize your own uh, drawings and uh, uh, artwork, which is amazing, by the way. I really, 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 uh, I really, really liked the conversations I had with him, because therefore I learned more about how to get from point A to point B instead of you know being like, ah, oh, well, um, I have no idea how to uh, do this, or I made a rookie mistake, like not putting my uh, insignia on this. So, for instance, I have not yet put an insignia here, so I will do it right now, so that, you know, everybody knows that I, this is my play, then this is my drawing. So allow me to just do it before we can do anything else. There you go. My handwriting. It's horrible, I know. But it is my handwriting, so allow me to just do a double, just in case, just better. There you go. And then make sure that it is a little bit tinier. Is that good enough? No, that's not good enough. That's horrible looking. That's horrible looking. That's not cool. That's not how I want it. That's not how I wanted it. I want it like this. There you go. No, almost. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I have faith in myself that I can do this. There you go. Voila. So now I have my now I have my insignia on it. Boom. Very great looking thing. Of course, you know, you don't want it to have a full way, you want it to have like faded out, so that's how I do it. Alright, now we're gonna save this bad boy up, and then everything is gonna be good. Oh yeah, I never sign stuff, I know. I should, but I don't know. I don't know, I, I don't know, <laughs> I didn't know, I just never do. <laughs> yeah, um... That is one of the most important things in life. Trust me, people. If you ever, if you ever, 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 ever want to do something like this, and you want to work for an international boss, always make sure you sign your own artwork because otherwise, you know, people can be like, "Hey, don't mind if I steal that from you, my boy." No, 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 no. And then you know, you're, it's gone. Once it's on the internet, it's gone. It is out of the sky into the blue. All right. Um. I think I will go, I will think I will leave it here. I hope you all have been enjoying it for today. And I'm gonna be enjoying myself a good old fashioned walk of six miles. In, uh, I don't know if it is starting to rain today, but I need to do the walk and then afterwards I need to go, I need to take a shower and then I, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, anyway, um, I wish you all a lovely day. <laughs> I wish you all a lovely day. And I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, have a nice day, everybody. Bye!